Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Codesultant channel. In our previous discussion, we covered the installation and provided an overview of the sizing of main and system bonding jumpers in grounded systems according to section 250.28. Now, in this video, we will delve into the calculations involved in determining the appropriate sizing for the main bonding jumper and system bonding jumper as outlined in section 250.28, D1, 2, D3. So, without any further delay, let's dive right into these bonding jumper calculations. The main bonding jumper provides the connection only to the service equipment. The system bonding jumper wires up either at the separately derived system or at the first disconnect means after the separately derived system. The main bonding jumper belongs to the service, and the system bonding jumper belongs to the separately derived system. As shown in the illustration, section 250.28, D1, through, D3, outlined the guidelines for the sizing of main bonding jumpers and system bonding jumpers, for the listed equipment like switchboards and panel boards, the manufacturer of the listed equipment is responsible for adhering to the sizing rules specified in the relevant product safety standard. What are the rules for sizing of main and system bonding jumpers, according to section 250.28? D1. These bonding jumpers should not be smaller than the sizes specified in table 250.102, C1. This table is used to determine the appropriate sizes for the grounded conductor, main bonding jumper, system bonding jumper, and supply side bonding jumper based on the size of the largest ungrounded phase conductor. The left side of table 250.102, C1, corresponds to the size of the largest installed ungrounded conductor, while the right side provides the required size for the grounded conductor, main bonding jumper, system bonding jumper, or supply side bonding jumper. Based on the table, the minimum size of these bonding jumpers is 8AWG if made of copper, and a minimum size of 6AWG for aluminum or copper-clad aluminum. Let's have an example. For instance, let's consider a scenario where there are two 400,000 circular mills, 400 KC mill, THHN, THWN2, copper conductors and a single neutral in a 120 volts, 240 volts single phase grounded system within a single raceway. According to 250.28, D1, the main bonding and system bonding jumper conductors should not be smaller than the size specified in table 250.102, C1. Since our conductors are 400 KC mil copper, we locate the row that states, over 350 through 600 inches on the left side of the table under the copper column. As our example falls within that range, we move horizontally to the size of main bonding and system bonding jumper as well as ground conductor column and find that the recommended size for our 400 KC mil conductors is 1 aught AWG. What if the ungrounded conductors are two sets of two numbers 400,000 circular mils, 400 KC mil, THHN, THWN2 copper? To determine the size of the main bonding jumper, Calculate the equivalent area by considering one ungrounded conductor from each set, which results in 400 kc mil times 2 which is equal to 800 kc mil. Referring to table 250.102, C1, once again, we follow the same process as before. Based on the calculations, we find that the minimum size required for the main bonding jumper would be 2 aughts AWG copper. Therefore, for the given scenario, the recommended size for the main bonding jumper would be 2 aughts AWG copper. Let's have a scenario where the ungrounded conductors exceed 1100 KC mil copper or 1750 KC mil aluminum. Let's consider a 1000 amp circuit that will be installed in a cable tray. According to table 310.18 for ampacity, there is no single conductor available for that ampacity. Therefore, paralleling of conductors will be necessary, taking into account factors such as correction factors and adjustment factors. To accommodate the 1000 amps, we would require three sets of 500 KC mil, 500,000 circular mils, conductors, resulting in a total combined circular mil of 1,500,000, 1,500 KC mil. Following note 1, we need to consider 12.5% of the 1,500,000 circular mils, which equals 187,500 circular mils. Referring to Chapter 9, Table 8, we find that the minimum size for the main bonding and system bonding jumper would be 4 aughts AWG copper, 
as the 3 aughts AWG below it only accommodates 167,800 circular mils. Hence, for this situation, the minimum size required for the main bonding and system bonding jumper would be 4 aughts of AWG. Section 250.28, D2, specifies the size of the main bonding jumper for services with multiple enclosures. When a service consists of more than one enclosure, as allowed by 230.71, B, each enclosure's main bonding jumper should be sized according to 250.28, D1, taking into account the largest ungrounded service conductor serving that specific enclosure. Section 230.71, B, is about permitting the use of up to six separate enclosures as the service disconnecting means. When multiple service disconnect enclosures are present and wire type main bonding jumpers are used in each disconnect, the minimum size of each main bonding jumper must meet the requirements stated in 250.28 D1. Let's consider an example using an illustration with three disconnects. Each disconnect is equipped with a wire type main bonding jumper. Disconnect A, for instance, has 700 ampere service equipment being installed. Two sets of 400 kc mil type XHHW conductors are installed in parallel. To determine the appropriate sizing, we multiply the conductor size by 2, resulting in 400 kc mil times 2 equal to 800 kc mil. According to Table 250.102, C1, a 2 odds AWG copper main bonding jumper is required. The same procedure applies to disconnects B and C, as well as the wireway. For separately derived systems with multiple enclosures stated in section 250.28, D3, in cases where a separately derived system supplies multiple enclosures, there are two options for sizing the system bonding jumper. The first option is to size the system bonding jumper for each enclosure individually, following the guidelines in 250.28, D1, based on the largest ungrounded feeder conductor serving that specific enclosure. In the given illustration of separately derived systems with multiple enclosures, where the system bonding jumper is located in each individual enclosure, the sizing should adhere to the rules specified in section 250.28, D1. For example, if the enclosures have 700 ampere with two sets of 400 kc mil type XHHW conductors installed in parallel, and 350 ampere with one set of 400 kc mil type XHHW conductors, the same procedure used for sizing the main bonding jumper applies. Consequently, the system bonding jumper size would be 2 odds AWG copper for enclosures with 700 ampere and 1 augeth AWG copper for enclosures with 350 ampere. The second option is to install a single system bonding jumper at the source, which should be sized according to 250.28. D1, based on the equivalent size of the largest supply conductor. The equivalent size is determined by calculating the sum of the areas of the corresponding conductors from each set and selecting the largest sum. As shown in the illustration, a separately derived system provides power to two feeders. One feeder connects to a 700 ampere panel board and utilizes two parallel connected copper conductors with a size of 400 kc mil. The second feeder supplies a 350 ampere panel board and employs 400 kc mil copper conductors. The system bonding jumper is installed at the separately derived equipment. To determine the suitable size of the system bonding jumpers, we calculate the combined area of the corresponding conductors from each set and select the largest sum. In the case of the first enclosure with two sets of 400,000 circular mils, 400 kc mil, we multiply the conductor size by 2 resulting in 800 kc mil. For the other enclosure, since there is only one set of 400,000 circular mils, the total combined circular mils is 1200 kc mil. Following the guidance provided in note 1, we account for 12.5% of the 1,200,000 circular mils, which equals 150,000 circular mils. Referring to chapter 9, table 8, we find that the minimum size required for the main bonding and system bonding jumper is 3 aughts AWG copper. Thank you all for watching.